Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of You're Dead Next Turn. Today's video is brought to you by Abyss Proxy Shop. You can go there and pimp out your deck with some amazing altered card as seen on this channel. Just use our code DEADNEXTTURN10 at checkout. And don't forget, if you like this video, please hit the like and subscribe button, as well as the bell notification to get all updates for live streams and episodes. Thank you, and enjoy the game. What's up guys and welcome to your dead next turn. I am your host Tim and today we are playing Budget Commander. So all these decks are $50 or below and I'll let uh, our player who's going first explain his deck and how it's going to work and then we'll go around uh, the table and explain it. Ryan, take it away buddy. Alright, uh, tonight I'm going to be playing God Eternal Kifnet. Um, four or five legendary creature zombie god. Um, it's Kefnet from the Amon Cat, but this is after Nicobolus got to him, eternalized him, and brought him to Ravnica. Um, so it's an interesting card effect, and that's I think that's why it stuck with me even through the years since this card came out. Is it like actually duplicates a card in your hand? It's an interesting effect. Uh, so what it does is whenever you draw the first card you draw each turn, you you may reveal that card. If you reveal an instant or sorcery card, you get to copy it, and then you may cast that copy. Right, That copy would cost two less to cast, colorless less. Um, so basically, like if I flipped, and it's, let's say, like a three-mana card, I don't know, theoretical dupe, yeah, the divination, for instance, and I get a one-mana copy of divination, I can cast that, and I get to keep the original divination in my hand. So blue doing blue things. Yeah. So I'm going to be just kind of drawing cards for the most part. I don't really know how I'm going to win, but I'm here to hang out and have some fun. There we go. All right, guys. What's up? It's your boy, Tim. And today I am playing Emperor Maha Mahal II of Merfolk Nobles. So it is Merfolk Tribal. Uh, and I can look at the top card in my library at any time, which I'm obviously going to do. Even if it's a land, I'm just going to mess with people. Uh, but if there's a Merfolk spell from the top of my library i can actually cast it from my library and whenever i cast a merfolk i can pay one and make a one one blue merfolk token so again just making a ton of merfolk and hopefully you know they'll go from the lake to the ocean to the wind and that's my deck awesome uh again my name's shane i'm actually uh running the new frodo sauron's bane uh, it is a one mana, one two, that if uh, you pay a couple of uh, white or black into it, he becomes a two three with lifelink. Uh, the the big win con for this deck is literally him. Uh, you pay three black, and uh, after the uh, ring has tempted you four times or more, you hit a player with them, and they just lose the game. I've Other than what's printed on this commander, I have nothing else that would be a win con in this. It's literally just a bunch of kind of draft crud you would throw into a, a pile and we're, we're hoping to protect him long enough to actually see him do things i like it hey it's rob and i am using shalai and halar despite the play map this was not forged in the fires of mount doom uh shalai and halar will be flying vigilance three three for four mana and whenever one or more plus one plus one counters are put on a creature you control they deal that much damage to target opponent so if i I can't hit these guys with my creatures. I will hit them with the plus one, plus one counters I put on said creatures. So we all know who the threat is. It's definitely Rob. And it's definitely Frodo. It's, it's probably Frodo, to be honest. Frodo's never a threat. He's the good guy in the story, remember? <laughs> yeah, tell it to Sauron. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away, Ryan. All right, my first. All right. Did anybody say that these were all fifty dollar decks? I'm I'm under fifty dollars. I think last time I checked, this deck is thirty six dollars. And mine's like forty seven. Yeah, forty seven. Moxfield. It says thirty six. And that's priced by Card Kingdom. Oh, you went the big route too. All right, I'll kick things off with an island, and I'll be passing turn. I will draw. I will also play a island, and I will, 
Yeah, I'll pass. I'll pass. All right. I'm going to go ahead and draw. Yo, I'm going to pay one for Frodo. First play. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to pass turn. Okay, well, let's see here. I have a forest, which I will play. I will tap that, and then I will play this card that I just top decked, Hardened Scales. Ooh. And then I will pass. Hardened Scales. Yikes. All right. <laughs> Already starting spicy. Draw for turn. That means I won't get a creature on the board for five turns now. <laughs> right, I'll play an island and I'll pass turn. All right, I will draw. I will also play an island, and then I will tap two, and I will play a mind stone, try to do some ramp in blue. And then I will pass over to you, Shane. All right. Untap, draw. I'm going to go ahead and play Swamp. I'm going to pay to uh, make... Uh, Frodo a permanent 2-3 Halfling Scout with lifelink. Uh, I'm just going to put a little one dice because it's like a little level counter on him. And uh, I'm going to move to combat. And you know what? I think we're I think we're going to go for uh, you know Shalai there for 2 lifelink. That's fine. I see how it is. Uh, I got I to gotta start with that hardened scales. <laughs> Facts. All right. Pass turn. Playing a mountain and passing. Man. Mountain pass. Okay. Uh, for me, I'll draw. I'll play an island. And I'll do the popular thing here of passing. Ooh, all right. Untap. I will draw. I will play a island for turn. Then I will... I will pay three to cast my commander. And I'm going to look at top card. And yeah, that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. And I'm going to go ahead and play a tainted field. Uh, going to tap for a colorless, or since I have a swamp, I can tap it for a plains or a swamp. Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, share some love, however, and looks like, Ryan, you're getting two. Sounds good. Me too. All right. And, you know, what? I'm going to go ahead and pass the turn myself. Dang. This is an intense game right now. Everyone's got mana open. Blue play is the one that's scary over there, though. I am going to... I'm just hanging play... around. <laughs> I'm going to play a Plains, and I too will hang around. I'll pay two, and I'll play Rampant Growth, and go look for a Basic, and I'll pass the turn. All right. Tap draw. I'll play an Island, and I'll do what the cool kids are doing around town, and play my Commander. Got Eternal Kithnet. And I'll pass turn. Sorry, I'm drawing, drawing tokens. You know? I'm gonna try to, to make some. Alright, I'm gonna untap. I am gonna draw. I am gonna play an island. I'm gonna look at top card in my library. Okay, I like that. I am then going to pay one. I'm going to pay one to play a Reef Shaman. I am then going to pay a one to make a Merfolk. I am then going to also... Hmm. I'm gonna pay another one for preordain. I will scry two. I will put one at the bottom and one at the top, and then draw a card. Look at the top card in my library. I will keep that. 
And then I will just go to combat, and Shan will bring you back down a little bit, I think. Sounds good. And I'm going to hit you Have for three with my commander. Awesome. My camera decided to fall mid-run here, so uh, I'll be fixing that after the hand. And, uh, yeah, that's my turn. Awesome. I'm going to untap upkeep draw. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to play a planes here. And let's see. What do we got floating over there? 1-1. One, one, we got a 4-5. Can't really do a whole lot of any fun attacking yet. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Inkling Summoning. I'm going to create a 2-1 Flying Black Inkling Creature Token. And, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, pass the turn after that. I like it. Make a 3-2 Inkling. So it begins. We were just talking about Ink Shield. Uh, yeah, I don't have that in here. We know that. <laughs> Too expensive. Tap out and go ahead and play my commander, right Shalai and Halar. And I will pass turn. It's actually a really good question. I'm not entirely sure how much it's going for. All right, untap. Draw. I'll choose not to reveal and play a land. Not fixed. That's a pass. Oh my god! I'm afraid of this blue player. All right. I will untap. I will oh no, I, I just just played a land. I will draw. I will look at the top card just to see what it is. Okay. Alright, let's do this. So let's play... Let's play three for... Seville of Sea Sky. Um, has indestructible as long as I control at least two merfolk. And when it enters, I draw. Uh, when it attacks, I draw a card. Other merfolks now have ward one. I'll respond. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna play Dream Fracture. Countering. Uh, counter target spell. Its controller draws a card, and I draw a card. All right. So in response to that, now. You don't want to draw a card? I uh, <laughs> like my guy. I'm gonna negate that. Sure. Ooh. So, uh, I, I have response to the negate, since I want to have some fun here. Unless you... Oh, no. I guess... Right. Hold on. Uh, uh, hold on, hold on. I'm going to... Go ahead. You're, you're tapped we, out, right? Can we politic? Can we politic? <laughs> yeah. can we politic? No, no, because you know what? Can we politic? Uh, Shane, Shane, I, Shane. I let everybody's commanders go through. Shane. I'm going to mana tithe. Outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> really, with the mana tithe, the worst <laughs> counter spell in white. You literally had to... Oh man, that hurt. Tim, you draw a card, I draw a card. That felt so right. I so will not I, card. I will not reveal. All right. Before I pass my turn, I just want to look at this top card. God. I'm gonna pass oh actually, hold on, hold on. I don't. God, everything's so scary. Now nah, I'm good, I'm gonna pass. <laughs> Alright. Untap, upkeep, draw. Really, really had to do that. I did. I, 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 I really did. You had uh, to wait for the perfect time for that mana tight too, didn't you? Like, I, like, you tapped out. I really stressed like hitting one of your guys' commanders, but I didn't want to be a threat right away, so I figured that would be a great option. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play an access tunnel. If you guys aren't familiar. I could pay three, tap it, and a creature with power three or less can't be blocked this turn. That has no synergy whatsoever with Frodo. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, as it stands, I can't really do a whole lot. The board's kind of scary, so I'm going to go ahead and just pass the turn for right now. I that. Okay, I luckily got a planes, so I'm going to start out with... I'm going to start out with a spell that people don't really see a lot. I'm going to pay one to play Predatory Hunger on Shalai and Halar. Ooh, hold on. It's a one, an mana, a one mana enchantment. Whenever an opponent casts a creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on enchant creature. Oh, that's disgusting. 
an oldie but a goodie. That's one that like I literally stopped playing Magic for 20 years and I still <laughs> remembered that card when I came back and was building this deck. Uh, and then for two and a red, I'm going to play Scary and play Torian Mauler. Ooh, hold on. Uh, do you have any response there, Ryan? No. Tim? I'm tapped out because somebody. Uh, that's right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and path to exile the uh, Shalai. Oh, good. For that that Mauler? Oh, yes. Oh, no. He's path oh, no. exiling the Shalai. The Shalai. <laughs> well, uh, he's got the enchantment on there. Hear me out. The Mauler we can work with, but I don't need plus. With. That's I mean, two additional counters. I immediately have uh, enough mana now to recast her next turn, so it's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh my god. Uh, anything else there? Uh, uh, nope. You know, mana tight would have been good for that. Untap. He had one open. Draw. Uh, the mana tight was good for negate. That's I'm what he said. I'm holding that mana tight right. now. <laughs> all game now because. I was like, oh, cool. I've actually never played that card at all, ever. Because <laughs> every time, even when I had my non budget Merfolk deck, that card was. I've never pulled that card. I was like, oh, cool. I'm going to play it. And then I was over there like, nah. I'm like, damn it. I didn't want to use my counter spell that early, but. It's okay. Uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know what I want to do. Uh, I'm not let's see. Anymore, Ryan. No, I don't want to do that. It sounds like that's what I want to do. All right. Um... All right. We're we're still <laughs> friends, Ryan, because I had an answer for yours, Shane. I'm gonna Shane, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay five and play Saruman the White. Ooh. Hey. Hey, Lord of the Rings. All right. Is that all you're doing? Um. No, oh, not that one. Yeah, that's all for me. Yes, turn. All right. Untap. I'm going to draw. I'm going to look at the top card. Oh, damn. Okay. All right, let's do this. So let's pay. Let's pay two. For two. Okay. For a Stony Brook Angler. <laughs> Is that good? Does that resolve? Are you going to ask the white player this? Absolutely, ask... it resolves. Right, <laughs> I'm going to also pay the one. And I'm going to make a second little merfolk, you know? Because he's so dang cute. That mauler is at a 4-4 four, four now. Fucking fantastic. 6-6. Uh, six, six. It started out as a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, yeah. God. And it gets two every time someone plays a spell because of hardened scales. We're okay, guys. We are okay. I'm going to pass my turn. You know, right. my, my merfolk are just chilling in the lake still. You guys are all in the ocean. I'm not even there yet, okay? I'd like to point out the guy who can send an unblockable guy to insta-kill anyone is the one who's making me the threat and saying that we're all okay. <laughs> it's okay. He hasn't we can all get yet, along though. together. I haven't been tempted. He hasn't been tempted. I bet he tips four times in one turn. No, no, this is budget. <laughs> we don't have any of that. Uh, so Did you guys what's watch the, the what's... last episode of Game Nights? Oh yeah, <sighs> so good. That feels like the correct play. I'm gonna go ahead and vindicate the uh, Torn Mauler. I like that. I mean, it's funny that he's wasting all of the removal on my worst creatures. Hi, right, that's okay. I. Uh, Again, we're fine. We are okay. And I'm going to just hit for two at you, since you got an open board state right now. There, shall I? Forgive me. Power Helm. <laughs> Forgive me. It's okay. It's I'm, okay. If I'm someone can protect my Shane. board. I'm not forgiving Shane, so... If anyone would like to protect my board, I'll kill Shane. <laughs> <laughs> all right rob just remember me and Ass. ryan haven't come at you okay i mean you haven't not come at me but exactly. you haven't like, helped him <laughs> help I, me I attacked, at all I, attacked I was gonna say Shane. i attacked him i didn't hear any counter spells on any of the stuff i've done so uh, well, just I'm putting so that out I there use my <laughs> to protect my uh merfolk god okay she was a god 
Go ahead, man. I'm good. I'll tap three and I'll play a command sphere and I will pass turn. Getting the ramp on. I like it. Oh, I can't afford to cast any creatures because someone keeps killing them. <laughs> but they're all your worst creatures. Draw. <laughs> I, I won't reveal. Me and Ryan are just chilling here. Like, I'll play an island. The mono blue play is just chilling. Yeah, I'll just pass turn. Fine. This is fine. Everything is fine. I'm gonna untap. Everything's fine. I'm going to draw. I'm going to play an island. I'm going to do something a little crazy right now. Uh-oh. I'm going to pay four. Getting crazy, he says. I'm going to choose Merfolk, and I'm going to play Distant Melody. Drawing five. I will respond. Here we go. <laughs> Uh, it's, not as bad. it's not as bad as you think. Okay. Alright, I'm going to pay... Cards together? I'm going to pay five. And I'm going to Mystic Confluence. Uh, and I'll choose to bounce two creatures and draw a card. Just bounce in two creatures. Alright, which ones? I'll bounce your commander and the Stony Brook. Alright, I'll, I'll still draw three. So at least that's not bad. All right, Ryan, we're still friends. I'll draw three. Can I draw a card? All right. I'll, I'll reveal it. I'll reveal that card as my first card drawn this turn. Nice. Okay. Uh, it's an opt. So I'm gonna cast my Kefnet copy of opt for one mana. Okay. And uh, that's my second spell I've cast this turn. So I'll get to amass two. Okay. And then. And then I get to scry one. I'll leave that card on top and draw the card. Are we back to my turn now, Ryan? Are yeah. We back to my yeah. Turn? Okay. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> then I just need to make sure I'm back on my turn, okay? I needed to make sure. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I am going to. I did my thing. I'm good. Y'all can kill me now. I did it. Play something so like, like I only have to discard one card and not two. All right, so we're gonna pay one. Actually, we're just gonna pay two. Never mind. We're gonna replay Stony Brook. Okay, and then I'm gonna got, need to discard a card. I am gonna discard Wonder. Hey, everything's Ooh. got flying. So now all my Merfolk are flying Merfolk, and I will pass. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm going to go ahead and play this uh, Planes Return. And I think the best course of action here is to uh, get started on the shenanigans. I'm going to pay three black to turn Frodo into a rogue. So I'm going to. Go ahead, pay three, and he cannot be blocked this turn. And uh, Tim, you've got a, a two, two, three coming at you. All right, well, what, what, what happens, Ar? What happens? Two, uh, two, three coming in. Unblockable. Unblockable. To me? Yeah, with lifelink. Two, a Two, three. A two, three. That's it. It's a very humble two, three. How is it unblockable right now? Hold on. Uh, access tunnel. You son of a bitch. It's okay. I'll Said I'll no take, synergistic value whatsoever, okay? I'll take, I'll take two from little Frodo Baggins. All right, and the ring's going to tempt me. It's okay. So it's now... Right uh, so... Uh, it can't be blocked by uh, creatures with power greater than it now. So, and I'm going to go and pass the turn. I'm completely tapped out, so He's no a, shenanigans for me. He got tempted. Uh-oh. He's a tempted ring bearer. Oh, 
I'm going to pay one of each color in my deck and play Rocco Street Chef. At the beginning of my end step, each player exiles the top card of their library until my next end step. Each player may play the card they exiled this way. Oh, man. And that's going to be my turn. And I'll go to my end step and we all exile the top card of our library. That's not That's not right. It's an island. That's cool. I'll, I'll, ex I'll exile the island. Mine's a soul cipher board. And when Flicker a player, fate. Whenever a player plays a land from exile or casts a spell from exile, I put a plus one plus one counter on target creature and create a food token. Ooh. Okay. That's some serious group huggage there. I like it. And right. I will pass turn. Pickle cool card. Yep. All right. Untap. Draw. I won't reveal. And then I'll play an island. So if we reveal the top card. Let's see. Makes a food. Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Ryan, are we finally friends now after you bounced on? Uh. Count. Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm gonna help help the group a bit. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna pay. Serious help, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna pay four. And you're gonna exile Frodo. I'm gonna involuntary cooldown. I'm gonna tap up to two target artifacts or creatures. I'm gonna choose both of Shanner Zero Zero's creatures. Oh no! And they'll both right. get two stun counters each. I like that. That's a plus. Oh, well, well, I'm uh, definitely uh, hurting for a moment. Um, he needs to come down. He's at 45 life. <laughs> you know who could have gotten him down? The guy who had Shalai and Halar out when no one wanted to counter any of them. You know, the move. guy who could have had... Uh, I'm going gonna, gonna to pay two and play my exiled card. That'd be some counters for you there, right? Yeah. Yep, Rocco gets two. Uh, it's still a cipher board. Forgive me, I've never used the card before. Uh, comes in with three counters. And then it has an ability for two and tap. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one into your graveyard. And then if a creature's put in the graveyard from anywhere, remove an open counter from it, and then it can transform when it has no counters. Nice. That was my second spell cast this turn. So I'm going to amass two to four. Um, I will get frisky finally. I'll swing four in the air at Tim. And I'll do four on the ground at Shaner. Yeah, that, that, that tracks. I will take the four. And I'll pass turn. Untap. I will draw my card. Okay. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna play an island. Ryan, Was are you gonna one from exile? Are you gonna counter my stuff? I don't know. I got two blue open, okay. <laughs> but Sorry. all my mana is blue, so I don't know. We're gonna <laughs> I'm gonna play three for a deep root waters. Oh no, that card's pretty good. So whenever I cast a merfolk spell, I create a 1-1 one, one merfolk. Was that the island you exiled off the top? Uh, no. It's still, it's still chilling. It's right here. Cool. Yeah, right there. I put it, I put it under. I don't need, I, I don't need the, uh, oh, I keep drawing on islands, to be honest, so. Um, then I will... Pay three for my commander again. Creating a third 1-1 one, one merfolk. 
I'm gonna look at the top card. I'll leave that up there. And I am going to I'm gonna I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna swing. I'm gonna swing my storybrook at Shane, bring him back to forty. Alright. And then I am gonna swing two flying merfolk one ones at Ryan. If I, oh yeah, yeah, you have wonder. All right, three. Okay, one, two, three. Well, no, just two. It's just two to you. Oh, just two. Yeah, just two. See, it wasn't that bad. Uh, and then I have, so I have two tapped, and I'm gonna make another. I'm gonna draw another one, but that's my turn. All right. I'm gonna draw another one that's not tapped. I'm gonna pseudo untap. I'm gonna take two of these stun counters off. Cool. Draw. Well, what options do I have? Uh, is this the right time? This feels like the right time. It's not. No, it's not. Actually, yeah, hmm. yeah, it is. It probably is. It is. I'm, I only have one. All right, mana we need to we need to slow this down just a smidge. I'm gonna Urza's Ruinous Blast, so all non-legendary permanents are exiled. In response, Yikes. I will sack <laughs> my Commander's Fear to draw a card, and I will tap two and tap that food to gain three life. There we are. You got a response to that, bud? Uh, not a good one. So every. So everything that non land permanent that's not legendary. That's really mean, dude. Yeah. That actually I do have helps a, Ryan out, out of everything. I do have a response. I'm gonna use this thing once before it explodes. <laughs> uh so I'll pay two and tap look at the top two cards in my library and I get to put one into my graveyard. Uh, so everything's exploding. That's I'll cool. put an island into my graveyard and the other one goes back on top. And, and then uh, non-legendary stuff explodes? Non-legendary stuff explodes. Or is exiled, yes. Exiled. Oh, exiled. Even worse. Yeah, exiled. That's even worse, and, Shane. Sorry, you know, gotta... Oh, I gotta... My, a, a my lands aren't story. legendary. No, I was Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, that, that would be broken. It would literally be broken. <laughs> Uh, with that, though, I think I'm just going to pass my turn, because I don't have anything Good. I can do. <laughs> hey, it's off Control, guys. We're all right. All right. I am going to pay one, two, three, four to play Halana and Elena Partners. I love that card. Reach. I began combat on my turn and put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature where you control where X is their power. Then I will play my land for turn, which is Hall of Oracles. That will trigger the chef. I'm going to put one plus one counter on Halana and Elena and make a food. Then I will go to combat and uh being a chef rocco knows better than anyone that vengeance is a dish best served yep. <laughs> so at the beginning of combat he's going to get three plus one plus one counters because of shalai and halar and then he will swing at shane four seven like it all right i like and at the beginning of my end step we all exile the top card of our library and I'm exiling a fight rigging. Um, this is an island, so... This be a swamp. Ah, that card hurts so bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh. Flight and Thievery was on top. And I will pass turn. Ah, uh, that was going to be real good, too. I didn't know it did that every turn. I didn't read it that far. My brain didn't comprehend it. All right. Untap, draw for turn... I won't reveal. I 
I will play my ninth land drop in a row. Boom. Another island. Wait, you're playing an island deck? Since when? Yeah, dog. It's crazy, huh? Alright, I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna play an imposter mech. And. In the battlefield, is a copy of a creature and opponent controls. Hmm. It feels like a Helena and Shala Or, yeah, Helena. Yeah, the part. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking sure. about it because if you copy Rocco, you'll force more uh, cards to be exiled for other people. Yeah, but he also is a non-bow with my deck because I set up the top card of my deck so that I can see what it is ahead of time for Kefnet, and then the, he exiles it. Yeah. Halana and partner. So what do you you get one? Yeah. He's making a copy of it with the imposter mech. It's a tough I'm gonna call. make a I'm gonna make a copy of Emperor Mahel. So I can look at the top card of my library at any time. That's actually good. That's actually good. Uh, the reason I wouldn't uh Alana is it's because it's equal to its power, and this is a vehicle. I'd have to crew in order to get the benefit, I think. Yes. Yeah. Um, okay, so I can look at the top card at any time. And then... It's actually smart. I was thinking, you were really going with Hana and... Uh... I'm gonna pay six. Ooh, big spell coming. And I'm gonna cast Curse of the Swine. X is four. And I'm gonna hit all four of y'all's creatures. Uh, do you have a response there, Tim? No, I'm tapped out. Cool. I got a response. I'm just gonna give my thing hexproof. All right. Well, everyone else's creature will survive as well. Mine dies. Nope. No? My spell fizzles. Oh, all right. There, it's, it's not exile up to, it's exile X. Got it. Sweet. See? Remember this moment, gentlemen. Remember this moment. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Your turn, Ron? Um, yeah, I believe so. All right. I'm going to untap. I'm going to draw my card. I'm going to play this island. I'm going to look at the top card. I like that. I like that a lot. I am going to play that card off top of my library. I'm going to pay four, and I'm going to play Storm Sculptor. When it enters the battlefield, I return a creature to its owner's hand. Halana and Elena Partners is going to go back to your hand, Rob. Uh, when I do that, I will pay the one to make a Merfolk. I'm going to look at the top card again. And then I will pay one for Drocker Mystic. Paying the one to make another Merfolk. And then I will go to combat. And Rob, and bring you down to where we all are. I'm going to hit you with my commander for three in the air. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> and that's my turn. I am going to pass because, you know, I'm doing so much stuff here. Well, untap. I'm going to take that final stun counter off, finally. Bane of my existence. <laughs> uh, pun, in, pun intended, mind you. I'm going to go ahead and uh, play this swamp so you get your uh, plus one, plus one counter. Hey, I'm playing a group hug with Drakkar Mystic if you guys need to draw cards, okay? Just remember that. 
Yeah. I'm gonna let you guys draw cards. Here's another. I like drawing cards. I love drawing cards. Me too. Uh, I need to draw cards. Here's another really bad spell, but you know it kind of just fit. Uh, Shadow summoning. I'm gonna create two one one white spirit creature tokens with flying. Unfortunately, though, for me, they are tapped. So there's a turn without them. And uh, with that, though, I'm going to pass. Darn, why don't you guys cast more spells that I exile for you? Uh, well, <laughs> I just keep doing lands. So. I tried to give everybody boars, but nobody wanted that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what are you talking about? With, that, with my uh, food deck, I want that prized pig in it. I will go ahead and cast my fight rigging, giving the chef one and creating another food token. Food, glorious food. Yeah, food bad. So yeah, it's a hideaway five, so let me look at the top five here. A lot of good, a lot of good choices there. It's always scary when somebody takes time to think about what they're doing instead of just like instantly just dropping it. After your turn's over, we can't cast and the cards that were exiled, correct? Correct. Yeah, they stay in okay. exile. Uh, you're all tapped out, right, Shane? I no your creatures. Oh, creatures, yes. Feel free. Smack me. I know it's coming. Uh -oh. Bright Palms, and I'll back him up for a one. So now when this creature attacks, double the number of plus one counters on it. Yeah, that's kind of mean. I'll nice. go to combat. At the beginning of combat, fight rigging gets another one onto him. And then I have a creature that's power seven or greater, so I can play this without king. It's mana cost. It's a Gyre Sage. <laughs> and oh boy. Big man coming soon. I will go to combat and I will swing Rocco at Shane. This will be the last time I swing as it makes up for both removal spells. <laughs> that's fair. That's hits. fair. And that will be a, uh, let's see. Here. Uh, would mm. Bright Palm have to attack in order I for can... that to be a thing? No. Uh, backup gives him the same ability until. Oh turn. no, that's yeah. terrible. Six, twelve, <laughs> 13, uh, 14, 15, 16. 14, 18 total. 18 total? Oh, oh dear God. Shit. One, two, three, four, five. Ten. Kill it. You know you got All right. removal. Oh no, no. 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 <laughs> no. I told you this is this is as about as bad as it gets when it comes to a deck build. Yeah, so I'm scared. I'm scared with that thing. I'm hoping Ryan has See, something. if if you had just left Shalyan Halar on there, we wouldn't be in this situation. It would just be a ping here and a ping there. Oh, but yeah, ping. You, you've, you've I feel like it would me, actually be worse. You've actually made me get the <laughs> chef out. The chef is the back <laughs> commander for this deck, and that's why. Oh, that's amazing. And, End of end of combat, uh, end of step. We all exile the top card of our library. <sighs> I'll be exiling the Juniper Order Druid. Oh I God! Know, I know what exile an island. I have an essence scatter. Uh, which king of Agamar? I'll leave Angmar. my card on top. Angmar. And that's the end of my turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, I was an island. <laughs> so wait, we can cast these up until the end of your next turn. Correct. Yes. Okay. Good. Thank God, because I got essence scattered. That's a counter spell. I'm like, I'm gonna use that. All right, my turn. Gone. Yep. And untap. All right. I'm gonna draw. I will choose to reveal. It's gonna be fade away. Fade away. Uh, for each creature, that creature's controller pays one or sacrifices a permanent. And I'll cast that for one mana. I can't oh. pay for anything. Wow, Ryan. 
Uh, I can weird. definitely pay. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and pay three. The The tax has been paid. That I mean. will. I will go ahead and sacrifice my two food tokens and fight rigging for one of each of my creatures. He knew how it worked. All right. Wow. I will also pay three. I have to pay. Wait, hold on. Can I pay with lands? It's uh, pay one or sacrifice any permanent. Okay. So I'm going to sack one permanent, an island, and then I'm going to let everything else just die. My merfolk well, you, can't win. Well, you sacrifice to the tokens, right? So wouldn't they sacrifice in place of the others? You sacrifice the token permanence. Yeah, this card's tricky. Oh, all right. <laughs> That's, I'm down with that. I'll sacrifice a land and the tokens. Okay. All right. Well, I will... A3, you know, suppose I'll do it again. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to pay three. I'm exempt. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice uh, an island and destroy the other two. All right. Uh, I'm going to look at my top card and then I'm going to sack this for Kefnet. And uh, th this this cast triggered him, so this will go to four, and I'll pay one for each of the, these two. And, um, yeah, I'll hang out this turn. It's fine. Cast turn. Oh, now you're going to hang out. I like it. I will. Oh, I like to hang out. I will play in the islands. <laughs> yeah, this is my pauper all-star. This card's pauper legal, by the way. That's beautiful. Right. It's interesting. You get like there's ways your opponents can cheat it, but it is still sometimes really good. I will pay three to cast the Merfolk from the top of my library. Uh, Water Trap Weaver. When it enters the battlefield, I'm gonna attack tap target creature an opponent controls. It doesn't untap uh, until its control is next untap phase. Uh. Hmm. Rocco is just going to untap. No, it, it won't untap on this next yeah, turn. Yeah, I'm going to keep Rocco tapped. I think I'm going to keep Rocco tapped. And then I will pay the one to make a Merfolk token. <laughs> All right, I'm going to look at the top card. I like that card. I like that card a lot. Um, and then I am gonna swing three in the air at Rob. And then I'm gonna pass. Take and three. Gonna untap. Hey! Frodo actually gets to untap this turn. God, it feels great. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, we're gonna play a swamp. I'm going to very casually tap five for Witch King of Agmar. So this bad boy is a five three with flying. Uh, whenever a creature, whenever one or more creatures deals combat damage to me. Each opponent sacrifices a creature right. that dealt combat damage to so, me this turn. So in response to that. Yep. In response to that, Shane. I'm just protecting myself. And it's only people that deal combat damage to me. That's all it is. Oh, it's only combat damage to you? Okay. Correct. Story. Okay. Remember that. All right. I'm going to remember that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pay four for now for Wrath. Now for Ruin. I'm going to put a plus one, plus one counter on each creature I control. They gain Vigilance, and the ring tempts me. Any any responses? No? No? Cool. No. 
Are you changing Good your batteries yet? Not at all. Okay. Not in the slightest. There's a one counter. That's a two two. There's a one counter. That's a two two now. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and move to combat with my three four. And Ryan, it looks like you can't block him. Yep, that's fine. Cool. So a three four with vigilance lifelink coming at you. You draw a discard. I'm going to draw and discard, yes. And I take three. All right. And the ring is going to tempt me yet again. So that would make four if my math serves me right. Oh, man. No, right? Hold on. One for the first one. No, this would make it three. We're good. That makes it three. Cool. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'm just going to pass the turn after gaining my life. It's almost like the board is regretting all of the tapping of my creatures <laughs> instead of Frodo or I have any no attention regret. at all to the one-shot person over there. Meh. I'm not regretting anything. I don't know what you're talking about. Frodo's just doing Frodo things. He's just trying to get to Mount Doom to kill the ring. Yeah. Okay. Well, Blooming Sands is going to come in tapped. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to combat. Uh, let's see here. Uh, I will go ahead and... Uh, hmm. Whenever this creature attacks, double the number of plus one counters on target creature. That creature can't be blocked. Hmm. So, just to, I'm trying to think here. Bright Palms doesn't say the other creature that's getting its counters targeted has to be attacking. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's an extra clause. Yep. <laughs> so, um, I will attack Tim with Bright Paws, and I will double the number of plus one counters on Guy or Sage. Like it. Okay, what is... Um... It, it's a 4-3. I'll take, I'll take four. And then I will go ahead and since I'm the villain of this masterpiece, I will <laughs> go ahead and tap the Gyre Sage and these four and bring back Shalai and Halar so that someone can counter it or destroy it. I will counter it. I will pay two and I'll, I will, oh boy. Use, I will use the one that's <laughs> exiled with uh, Essence Scatter. Oh, something can get a counter though. It will. Yep. Busting. Then we'll go to the end step and ex uh, exile. Exile. I exile. Fal exile. Absan Falconer. So all my Mine. creatures went flying next turn. Mine is Deep Channel Mentor. Mine's Winged Words. Valorous Stance. I'm look at the top card in my library. Okay, we're good. I'm kind of missing my ability to look at mine, but Rocco was still out, so it doesn't really do much. All right, get her off for turn. I won't reveal. I'll play an island. I'm going to a six. I'm going to cast Spell Twine. Exile target. Instant or sorcery card from my graveyard and target instant or sorcery card from an opponent's graveyard. Copy those cards. Cast the copies if able without paying their mana cost. Bribery should still be exiled, correct? What? Blatant Thievery? Or Blatant Thievery, yes. Yeah, it's gone. Thank you. Whew, okay. Uh, in my graveyard, I'll exile Mystic Confluence. Yep. And uh, what do y'all have in y'all's graveyards? Rampant Growth. I have 
Distant Melody, Negate, and Preordain. You said instant or sorceries? Instant or sorceries, yeah. Uh, now for Wrath, now for Ruin, Shadow Summoning, Beaming Defiance, Urza's Ruinous Blast, Vindicate, Path to Exile, Mana Tithe, Inkling Summoning. I will... Do Vindicate. Okay. Alright. Um, there There's your spell. Yep. Uh, then I can cast those without paying their mana cost. Exile spell. Fine. Okay. Uh, I'll cast the Vindicate, and I'm going to hit Proto. Okay. And just to check, you that spell you're using to cast those, does it say yep. exile them and then cast them from exile? Copy those Not cards. Okay. Yep. yep. And then uh, that was my second spell because it counts as casting. So I get to Tarmon to six over here. And then I'll cast Mystic Confluence. I'm going to bounce two creatures and draw a card. I'm going to bounce... Copy, right? Yeah, it's copies. So copies aren't cast. It says you cast them. Oh, never mind. My bad. You're good. Cast the copies. It, it works the way that Kefnet does, where he copies the spell and then you cast it. Like it. Yep. Um, so I'm going to bounce two. I'm going to bounce Rocco and the Witch King. And I'll draw a card. Okay. And I'll go to combat, and I'll swing my orc army in at Power Helm. And then I'll pass turn. All right. Untap. Draw my card. With Rocco out, can we not cast the card in exile, technically? Yeah, I would just... Right? I would assume that's the case. Uh, he does not say that he has, as long as he is out, you may cast it from exile. Just yeah, so that... your next in step, each player may play it from exile. Oh, okay, thank yeah. God. Yep. All right, cool. Yep. Let me look at my top card. I will pay six for the card that is in exile. Deep Channel Mentor. Blue creatures you control are unblockable. Um, Thanks. And I am going to send five at Ryan in the air. Five at me. I will pay one. And I will choose to opt. <laughs> oh, you got me all worried. I was like, <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. damn it, Ryan. I'll, yeah. I'll scry one. I'm going to put that on the bottom. You're lucky I didn't find what I wanted on top. I will blind draw off the opt. I'll choose not to reveal that with Kefnet. All right, I'll take five. Yep. And then that will be my turn. So. God, dude, nice. I hate, I, what's funny is I was about to say I hate blue players, and here I am playing blue. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Okay. I do hate blue plays. I just like Merfolk, man. I only played this deck because it was the deck that I had the closest to being ready. What's funny is I, I was playing, I was I was uh, getting this deck out, and my daughter is obsessed with Little Mermaid right now, and she kept saying, she's like, that's our mermaid. I was like, yes, it's a mermaid. She's like, do you have Ariel? I'm like, no. I'm going to pay three for Duelist Heritage. Oh, boy. So whenever one or more creatures attack, you uh, may have target attacking creature gain double strike until end of turn. And then I'm going to turn around and we're going to try this. I'm going to pay three for Frodo. Well, I got no response. So. Awesome. No response? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally I would, but I had to tap out to make my creatures not blockable. Uh, What do we got out here right now not a Nothing whole scary, lot man. Nothing, Nothing scary. super scary yeah no it's fair okay uh 
you know, I'm going to go ahead and uh, pass the turn. Hey, I just help keep the board kind of calm. Yeah, you know? I like he it. Did, he did, he did. Rock, <laughs> Rocco was getting scary. I was like, I don't really want to get hit by Rocco. So, well, to be fair, Rocco doesn't have trample, and I don't have any <laughs> way to give him trample. So, <laughs> anyone could have blocked him with a one-one. We don't. We don't do that here. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> There's a thing called one-one jump blockers. What? I'll go ahead and pay one and two more to play Absan Falconer. Up, oh, one ones have flying now. That's how that's how Rocco gets by. No, no, you don't need the trample. Just make it a giant flyer. <laughs> Hold on, now I gotta think because I'm pretty much screwed at this point. Uh-oh. I will go to end step and discard down to hand size and pass turn. Neat. Uh, I have nothing in instant speed at end of turn there. Go to my turn. I mean, I didn't have to exile the top card of my deck. Wild. Draw. Uh, I choose not to... Not to reveal. For my land, I'm going to play Gyre Reach Sanitarium. Always a good one. It works really well with Kefnet. Because you draw, you get to reveal that top card. Oh, yeah. I'm going to pay three. Like Elrond, Lord of Rivendell. Ooh, Elrond. Uh, whenever he or another creature enters the battlefield under my control, I get to scry one. And if it's the second time the ability resolves this turn, the ring tempts you. I'll scry right. one. I'll put that on the bottom. I'm going to look at the top card. I am then going to pay two and play a mnemonic sphere. Uh, just an artifact. I can pay two and sacrifice it to draw two cards, or I can channel a one, discard it, and draw one card. Sounds good. It draws cards. It does, in fact, do the thing. Um... Tim, I'm going to swing... Oh, that was my second spell, so I'll get to amass two. And I'm going to swing my 8-8 eight, eight orcs. I'm going to send the orcs after Tim's lands. I'm going to invade the merfolk habitat. Wow. It's messed up. I'm going to actually just take the 8. All right. That, wow. Uh, all I got. I'll pass turn. I may have completely read Elrond wrong when I read the. <laughs> the I thought it's, the ability. It's, yeah, the ability. I thought it was like every time I scry, if you scry twice, then the ring tempts you. I will play an island. I'm gonna look at the top card, see what it is. Okay, I like that. I am gonna pay four to play that card. All right. I'm gonna pay the one to make another merfolk. What does that card do? What is the card? Uh, whenever it becomes tapped, I may draw a card. Oh, okay. Um, nice. And then, who's more scary? 28, 27, 18. <laughs> Shane, who are you... Who, Rob? Who, Shane, Shane, I know you got a lot of mana up there. Who are you going to hit first to take out? First and foremost, I need you guys to understand that it is only tempted three times. That is it. Keyword, Three. right now. There's a lot of one mana te ring tempts you spells. I double strike. I sure. Twice. Actually, yeah. No. <laughs> How dare you ruin my fun? Uh, <laughs> who am I taking? Yeah, I'm, I'm not worried about Frodo right now. Hold on. 
So we are gonna. Yeah, that's what Sauron said. We are going. To, <laughs> we're gonna. We're gonna send the love. We're gonna send. We're gonna send. Uh, two of of four at Rob, and we're gonna send four. I do have flying blockers. Don't at forget. Ryan. It's okay. They're not blockable. So. Oh okay. I'm gonna choose to give one of my two twos double strike just out of spite. <laughs> So yeah, that's so four to each of you, and then that will be my turn. All right, at the end of the the top of card, I like that. I like that too. It's an island, guys. It's I'm not. Uh, going. I guess priority. I'm just gonna pay two to make him a two three. At the end of your in turn or in step, was there anything else? Nope. Nope. Oh, cool. All right. Untap, upkeep, draw. All right. So we're going to. I'm going to pay two for Virus Beetle. Everyone discards a card? Uh, yep. Whenever it enters the battlefield, everybody discards a card. I will play I will get rid of a Aquas, uh, form because all my creatures are unblock unblockable anyway. Mary Landscape. Like it. Gang you wildcrafter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. The ring tempts you, okay. I'm waiting for it. Uh so I'm going to go ahead and I've got a two three so things he is not the ring bearer which makes it tough right so i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna access tunnel to make him unblockable yes to make him unblockable and uh who cannot block right now it looks like ryan or how big is that rob how, how big is that that guy there, he's a 2-3, so he two, three. can block. All right, so, Ryan, you've got a 2-3 coming at you okay. with double strike. Okay. So I'm just I waiting for the new response. will pay two. I'm going to crack my thing over here. I get to draw two cards. Okay. I'll check the first one. Amazing. Um, it's River's Rebuke. Okay. Oh, uh, gets God. reduced God. by two. <laughs> I'll pay four and cast that copy of it uh, for four, and I'll return all non land permanents that you control to your hand, Channer. Yep, I. That's why I was being patient. I okay. I drew that blind. I did not know that was there. Wow. <laughs> that was. So all non-land permanents, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, it's like on a griff, but just one person. That's oh, disgusting. Man. Well, okay. So God. combat, combat <laughs> is on, right? I, and then I drew my second card. <laughs> I am just crushing it right now. Right, that's like... good. <laughs> uh, you know, combat's over. Resol uh, resolve. I'm gonna go to second main. I'm gonna go ahead and cast Frodo, and I'm gonna go ahead and cast Virus Beetle. Everybody's gonna Everybody's discard gonna another card. That's not cool, man. I'm gonna get rid of Haunted Cloak. And uh, yeah, uh, with that, I'm gonna go ahead and pass the turn. I'll discard Chemister's Insight. I'll discard Citadel Siege. <sighs> Damn. That was disgusting. That was the that was the so best bad. draw you could have ever pulled right there. I figured I couldn't kill him if I targeted him. So I was just like, I hope I hit something good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Had you not hit that, I was gonna absolutely turn him into the rogue and oh, don't er, everyone else don't forget that I didn't cast the real version. I still have it in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Kalana and Alina partners are back out. For the moment. <laughs> Until Ryan plays that. Until know. Ryan plays. Yeah, it's weird how everyone keeps coming after me when we've got someone who can copy all their spells and look at the top of their deck and someone who can instill. Hey, I'm just going to hey, reiterate that. I did fact. not come after you. I just need to point that out. I hadn't been swinging at anybody. Nobody's thinking that I'm a threat. 
You got rid of my commander. I knew you were a threat. You, got rid of, you, hit me, you hit the merfolk with an AA army of orcs, okay? They oh, there's a TNT coming like, next turn. Don't they worry. Were <laughs> they, they were chilling in their lake. They were just chilling, and all of a sudden, this orc army was like, no! Yeah, oh, I, don't, I don't know what they did to your habitat, but they don't usually breathe underwater, so... Just... More I, might, <laughs> I might go to combat. These guys are going to trigger, and they're going to put two plus one plus one counters on Bright Palms. And then Bright Palms will attack uh, Tim, and that will double the counters on him. So it's a 10-9 in the air. I will just jump block with my 1-1 one, one merfolk. Mer mer and that is all I got, and I'll pass. Really a casual 10-9. That's all. Just casual. <laughs> a casual 10-9. There is a combo in my deck. Uh, I did find it. It's not like an infinite combo or anything. It's the guy who reached Sanitarium Land, and then there's the Nephalia Academy. So what it lets you do is you get to do this. It triggers Kefnet. So it's each player draws a card and then discards a card, right? So you, you draw, and then you discard. It triggers Kefnet on the draw. But the Academy says when you discard a card, you can put that card on the top of your library. So it allows you to, to trigger and filter the top of your deck. It's pretty Oh, cool. that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> on a budget guys just saying budget it's a $50 yeah. deck man alright I will uh, draw for the start of my turn here we'll, we'll check it out I will reveal it is a hieroglyphic elimination what I'll do is I'll go ahead and pay two and I'll cast that copy to draw two cards just casual draw two I like it yeah for two mana <laughs> jeez This, card, this deck just poops card advantage. And I've, I've done a great job of hitting land drops. Because sometimes, if you don't hit land drops, this deck doesn't do anything. Uh, especially as a mono blue, you need, yeah. you need lands. Yeah. All right. Um, I think I have to deal with a different situation that's going on now. Um, I think a, a particular amount of merfolk have been swinging at me quite a bit lately. Oh, no. Uh, so I'm going to have to pay six. <laughs> And I will, Rivers rebuked him. Come on! <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. Okay, Tim, they don't get to swing at you while your four is empty. You get to go next. Yeah, but you got, you got this orc army that could hit me. That is my second spell, so... Figure. Exactly, so that's why I'm like, do I counter this? Or do I not count it? I mean, if you should have it, you probably should. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna let them all come to my hand. That just tells me you do not have a counter in your I, hand. There's I, no I way do. you let that go. I do. I just have another. <laughs> I, I have another thing in case Ryan comes and swings at me. With that. God. Me. All right. You heard that threat, right? There, Ryan. He's trying. To, yeah, I have a friend that does this all the time. Like, if you get him to a point that you can attack him, he'll just threaten you as hard as possible. <laughs> <laughs> and try to get you to swing at somebody else. <laughs> I'll make you regret that. You swing over here, I'll make you regret that. Uh, all right, Tim, show us what you got. I'm going to swing the 10-10 the in at you. All right, I'm going to pay two, and I'm going to boomerang your orc army. Oh, good God, that works, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. All right, the orcs are gone. You wiped out Saruman's army. Whew. There's a difference. Your friend might bluff. I was not bluffing. That's why I was like, I can counter it and keep my stuff. But then I was like, I can just replay and make more merfolk. So it's okay. I'm going to play one more spell this turn here. I'm going to cast a portent, which is poor man's ponder. As if Ponder was really that expensive anyways. It's $3. It's harder than $50. Is it okay. really? Yes. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Never mind. I stand corrected. Excuse uh, me. I, look, I sit corrected. I look at the top three cards. Um, okay. I can put them back in any order, and then at the beginning of my next turn's upkeep, I draw a card. Does that scare y'all? I got to put these three in any order. Put that... Put Put that one on top, and I'll uh, pass my turn. All right, I'll untap. At your upkeep. I will 
Uh, I get to draw. Trigger Kefnet. I'll reveal Blink of an Eye. I'll pay one. And I will bounce the guy with six counters on him. I don't remember his name. I like that. That's a good pick. Solid decision making. All right, is it my turn again? And I'm, I'm out of shenanigans. Yep. I'm going to pay three, cast my commander again. Look at the top card. I had this build as a hundred dollar budget deck before. I'm gonna pay for, three, uh, and I'm gonna water trap Weaver, paying one for make another Merfolk. I'm tapping Frodo. You're tapping Frodo. Yes. Oh, okay. Tapping Frodo. Um, look at the top card in my library. I am then at that point just gonna pass my turn. I gotta rebuild uh. because of Ryan. It doesn't untap. Okay. Yep. All right. It doesn't untap That's fair. until your next one. That, that... Gives us some time, guys. Remember that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I still remember you countering my commander, so. Hey, hey, hey. I mean, it would just be you and me at this point if you hadn't countered my commander. <laughs> yeah, but you could have came at me and my merfolk in our lake. I haven't even reached the ocean yet because Ryan keeps just putting a dam in the way. Ryan's like, All right. ah, here's the dam. I'm sorry, I'm blocking you. I will say, I, I, yeah, this deck is was a hundred dollar deck. I played it on our stream for a hundred dollar deck night or something like that. Yeah, and it made the game like four hours long. That's and... funny. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, and I renamed the deck "How to Lose Friends for a Hundred Dollars" like a long time ago. It's uh, a beautiful thing. I'm gonna pay three for Infectious Inquiry. So I'm gonna draw two cards. I'm gonna lose two life. But everybody's going to gain a poison counter. Not that it has yeah. any merit. But oh, oh. Liferate. Liferate. I just want to draw two cards. I want to draw cards. We're all drawing cards? We're all <laughs> drawing cards happily. You don't need to draw any more cards, Ryan, okay? <laughs> no, it's just me. All right, I'm going to go ahead and pay. I'll make sure I'm tapping correctly here because, you know, I still have to do things. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pay two for... The swiftiest of boots. Ah, swift hey. boots. The boots with the fur. With the fur. And then I'm going to go ahead and pay one, and I'm going to equip those to Frodo, because, you know, he's tired of getting targeted. And uh, with that, I think I'm going to go ahead and just uh, pass the turn. Uh, I just realized, guys, that, that portent you can use on somebody else. Uh, on your instep, I'll tap two <laughs> and stack this food to gain. Gain some life? Uh, yeah. Like gain it. some life. Gaining some life. I'm going to pay two for a Deep Root Champion. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. I personally, Power Helm, you just won me over with your deck. <laughs> I, I've all, I, since that card came out, I've been looking for a place to put it. <laughs> and every time, it gets cut. It's a sad day. But I found it. I found it. And then I will... Go to combat. I will put two plus one counters on the Geyer Sage. Like it. Big mana. Then second main, I will tap the Geyer Sage for four green. I'll tap that for a white, and I'll tap one red, and I will play Bellowing Aegisaur. Uh oh. I vaguely oh. remember being scared of this card. Was it I mean, too. Yes, okay. Whenever it's <laughs> damage, I put a plus one counter on every creature I control. This is part of that infinite combo where. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, if you give the dinosaur indestructible and put one counter or deal one damage to it, you just go forever. Yeah. 
And that is all I will do. I will pass. And untap. I'm going to look at the top card because I can. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's see what, uh, I, let's see what I find on top of mine. Oh, I'm yeah. I, I, I knew what it was already. Uh, I'm going to play Environmental Sciences. Nice. Uh, that's the card I reveal. Uh, so it's reduced by two. So I get to cast a copy for zero. I don't like it. All right. Uh, I get to search my library for a basic land card, reveal it, and put it into my hand. My top one is not an island. Just kidding. Here's an island. Is Kefnet the only commander that has not been removed from the board this entire game? Yep. Yes, I think yes. so. <laughs> um, Kefnet is then... value. Value engine the whole time. He is the bodiest of enchantments, yes. <laughs> Grief. Um, uh, so I get the land, put it in my hand, and then I get to shuffle, and then gain two life. So I gain two life back. All right. I will play that island as my land for the turn. And I'll pay two, and I'll go ahead and cast Environmental Sciences for real this time. Uh, trigger Saruman. Amass to my work army. Uh, that triggers Elrond. This creature entered the battlefield. I get to scry one. Um... Yeah, I have to do that before I resolve environmental sciences. So I'll scry, but it doesn't matter because I'm going to shuffle it away. Uh, I'll get an another island. And then I'll gain two more life. Tim, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> no. You're just going to let this man do this to you? I'm just waiting to die to Frodo, guys. I don't know what you are talking about. <laughs> Frodo gonna kill everybody. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I am so I'm sorry, man. Close enough to sorry, man. <laughs> <laughs> you can block now, so I don't know what you're worried about. I got a two, two. Yeah, you're right. As long as I don't cast too many spells. Yeah, that's the trick. Um. Okay. Yeah. I will. Yes, pass turn. No, you don't want to swing. Damn. Nah, we don't. We don't do that here. <laughs> he needs blockers. All right, untap. <laughs> Draw my card that I already knew was there. Look at the top card of my library. Don't really want that. God, I hate my life. All right. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna help us out guys. I'm gonna help us out. Okay. And then I'm gonna become the target of Rob. Oh no. I'm gonna pay three. Help us out and target the guy who doesn't have anything he's doing. Okay. I'm I'm gonna get rid of that dinosaur, man, with Raven form. I'm gonna exile it. That's and make a bird. Because Kefnet at all is not the problem. Yeah, this dinosaur, it, as long as you don't hit it, it can't do anything. Yeah, I agree with that sentiment. Kefnet, Kefnet will come back, though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, then I'm going to pay... I'm going to pay two to play Grey Harbor Merfolk, paying one, making another Merfolk. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing six in the air at Shane. Oh no! All right. Well, and then down I'm, to ten. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna pass. 
At the end of your turn, I'm going to go ahead and pay two, and I'm going to put a... I'm going to turn him into a 2-3 fun dude. Cool. No responses? Awesome. On tap. Upkeep draw. See, I'm hoping that Shane will kill Ryan. You're hoping that I can... What are you going to do uh, to, to make that happen is the real question. There's not much I can do. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, let's see here. I'm merfolk, man. You see this? I'm just under the sea. Okay. Under the sea. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine mana right now. Nine mana. Uh, you can do something. One, two, three. I'm going to go ahead and tap three. We're going to see if it actually goes with the blue player out here. For uh, Duelist Heritage. Awesome. Seems fine. Cool. Love it. All right. Then the ring tempts you. Number four. No. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. The blue player got all that mana up there. Okay, so we've got some interesting things taking place here. Who is the target? I don't think anybody's really a target right now because uh, I misplayed it's definitely heavily. Right. Well, the problem is he can block. Because I misplayed. I misplayed heavily. But that is okay. Yeah, you needed to swing before you put the counter on, huh? No, the... no. It's I tapped the access tunnel. Oh, you tapped the access tunnel? <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's on me. So we're going to just uh, let that go. And I, I, I will tell you, I really thought earlier when I got your Vindicate about blowing up the access tunnel. <laughs> you probably should have, honestly. <laughs> yeah. uh, we're going to go ahead and just pay five. Uh, do I want to pay five right now? Can't be targeted. No, you know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to pay five because I need to protect myself from some flying for a Witch King. Any? Nothing? Cool. Great. And I'm going to... I'm going to pass the turn. I'm going to play nice. I'm just going to be the nice guy right now. Everybody just... It's okay. You can't see it, but my face is the fry meme from Futurama <laughs> of sus. <laughs> sus? Well, here's the thing. Everybody can block. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> All right. So let's make, okay, let's make a deal. Let's make a deal on my turn. Well, wait till your turn then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look at the top card because I can. All right, how many cards you got in hand? Five. God. Two. The two. I have a lot. Have the most. I have five. Oh, you got five. No, my stuff keeps getting bounced back. Oh yeah, I'm at five. Too. It's the first time I've had a full hand with this deck, be without any card draw. <laughs> anyone, anyone want to keep bouncing my virus beetle so we can uh, we can change keep that? No, because I need, I need <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Not us here. Yeah, I really thought about making this like a super discard heavy deck just to make sure nobody had anything to mess with Frodo. I really thought about it. Yeah, hey, you could. <laughs> Throw Turgrid in there too. Then All right. Steal this... everyone's shit. Oh, God. That's actually a really good idea. Make a Frodo deck that's just. Uh, Cranko. That's oh, just, Jesus Christ. That's just discard. All right. So, uh,. You're making a lot of goblins there. A whole lot less than I could have like three turns ago. Uh, that's a fair sentiment. Uh, then I'm going to go to combat, put two plus one plus one counters on Krinko from in, Hana and Elena. In response to the Hana and Elena trigger? Yep. I'm going to pay I'm gonna pay three. I'm going to use this bad card uh, that I don't like very much, but I'm going to use it. It's called Decoy Gambit. 
For each opponent, choose up to one target creature that player controls, then return that creature to its owner's hand, unless that creature's controller has you draw a card. Oh, so, nice. Tim, uh, I'll choose your commander. Fire um, Speedle. Fire Speedle. Banner, we'll do the Witch King. And Power Helm, I'll do Krinko. That's fine. You can draw a card. He has haste. I'll wait for everybody's decision. I don't know about um, the blue play to draw cards, though. It'll only trigger Gifnet. No worries. Yeah, Witch King's going... <sighs> How much flying... I don't have a lot of life. You're drawing a card. I gotta protect myself. This sucks. <laughs> God damn it. Do we really want him to draw three cards, though? I Here's the oh, thing. Like, he's got so much flying, and I'm so low on health. Like, this is not a... He only has one me. flyer. Uh, yeah, between him and you. Shane, I'm trying to help you kill him with Frodo. All right. <laughs> all right all right so are we all deciding that we're just not gonna let him draw cards is that what i'm hearing yeah definitely not. oh no i'm all giving right. him a card oh, all right no. <laughs> he gets one he gets one i get you one guys okay. you've heard my commander twice the two of you Rob, all right I, I draw one i'll check it out let's see Maybe hey we were fair my rocco to my hand you nope. hit me for 18 i thought we were fair we were we are fair I, nope. i'm not going to attack you <laughs> no reveal I got lucky. Thank God. But I will pay four. And blink of an eye of the Krinko instead. Kicked. <laughs> God. You can't even attack him. him. So, you gave him so you gave him a card, Rob. And this is what happened. That's my second spell, yeah. so my orc army will get bigger. God damn it. This game. I love this game. This is why I love magic. So do I, but God... This is why I hate blue players. So what what triggered me to build this deck originally was an artifact card that I found that was like and one a of hatred those... of other people. Uh, <laughs> hey, you did a little bit. His how do you lose friends for a hundred dollars? Unfortunately, it's a blue deck that can't afford to get very proactive at killing people. <laughs> you know how many times uh, you you're, you could have probably killed somebody with commanded damage. You you damage? say that. But I, he dissuades people from swinging at me. And if I swing with him, then I usually eat tons and tons of damage and just die. And that is honestly a fair statement. Yeah. Um, well, I'll pass turn because I have nothing else I can do. Um, uh -huh. I'm going to do each of y'all a little favor. and uh, We're just going to guy reach Sanitarium with the, my remaining mana there. Everybody draw a card, discard a card, right? Yeah, each player draw a card, discard a card. I'm going to get rid of a... I'll discard an island. No, I'm gonna get rid of I just a put a plane in. I'm gonna get rid of the black breath. <laughs> All right, untap. It's a show turn. of faith, Tim. It's a show of faith. I won't reveal. I will play an island. I'm going to pay four and play Talrond. Sky Summoner. Yeah. This is fantastic. Um, which minute do I got? Um, Tarond is a 2-2, two -two, so I can block by the ring at least. Oh yeah, it triggers Elrond for me to scry one when Tarond comes in. I'll put it on bottom. Don't worry, guys. My luck's going to run out here. Right. Uh, so <sighs> cast one spell. I need to cast a second spell. Get bigger orcs. I don't want to. Pass turn. Damn, it's you. 
I don't want to. Right, tap, draw a card. Play an island. All right, let's try this. This is going to be my home run. I'm going to pay six. I'm going to Rivers Rebuke. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, what do you God. know if it isn't the consequences of my own actions? <laughs> All right. Curse your inevitable betrayal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I made a deal with Shane. I'm a man of my word. You know... I don't remember any deals, but I love it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna accept Shane, whatever I said, deal. I'm going, I said I would not hit you, so you could kill Ryan. I'm gonna oh. pay. I'm gonna pay three and guy reach sanitarium. Draw a card. All right. Draw a card. Discard a card. Uh... Intriguing. I will reveal. Minus high tide. With Kefnet. I'll pay one and cast my copy of High Tide. <laughs> At least that for two. Yes, they do. We'll get the blue dice out. It's I discarded simple. Oblivion's Hunger, by the way. I will tap one for two mana. Leaving me one floating. And I'll cast High Tide for real. Uh, we'll just do this. I got two of these. I've cast two spells. Two scries. I'll leave that on top. I'll leave that on top. The ring tempts me. That's weird. I'll make Elrond my ring bearer. Mm. Um, well, the rest of these tap for three. I will tap for three, four. I'm going to cast an Into the Story. Uh, all of y'all have... Uh, does somebody have more than eight cards in their graveyard? Oh, I do. I, I have a bunch. Yeah. One, two, oh, I assure you I do. I have definitely okay. more than... Yeah, I got okay. 11. Okay. Uh, so it only costs four mana. Um, so I'll get to draw four. Seems good. Damn. I get another... Chance to... <laughs> I'm I, I'm I'm digging for something here. I'll draw my four cards. I've already triggered Kefnet, so that doesn't do me any good. Okay. Okay. How much mana do you have open? How do he's got right now? Nine. I've got nine, nine mana open. That track, okay. Yeah, because I high tied yeah. it twice. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that before, so I wasn't entirely sure what the math would come out to. Yeah, yeah. That's magical. That's awful. Because now with him <laughs> digging, he can just keep. <laughs> I wish I had high tide on my turn last turn. That would have been nice. Um, I've got nine left. I think all I can do is buy time, unfortunately. Sucks I'm storming off in front of the River's Rebuke instead of after it. Just remember that, yeah. Shane. Who you gotta hit. <laughs> Alright, I will tap for three and then tap for three again, but this time yeah, leaving two of that floating to cast another four. I'm gonna cast Press the Enemy. Another Lord of the Rings set card here. I like uh, it. Return target spell or non-land permanent and opponent controls to its owner's hand. And then, right back in. Oh, yeah. 
my brain. I didn't okay. even think of that. <laughs> 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 uh, I was going to bounce this. <laughs> uh, I'll, yeah, I'll put the Rivers Rebuke back in your hand. That makes way more sense. God damn it. <laughs> Why do you have to say anything, Rob? That was me. What are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, Chris? I would never have said anything. I have too <laughs> much survival James, instinct. We had a deal so you could kill Ryan so we could finally be done with him drunk. Hey, and hey. Frodo does not need to be touched anymore, okay? <laughs> his no no square has been violated too many times this game. Yes, but you, had a, you, would, have, you would have had a wide open shot. All his stuff would have been gone. Now he's got um, this giant army. Yeah, well, Frodo wasn't going to be able to hit me on his next turn. We'll just put it that way. I don't think. Um, it, yeah, you're so, right. I don't have so, any lands that make him unblockable, anyways. Well, no, he wasn't going to be on the board anymore. Oh no. Uh, uh, <laughs> so instead, uh, the press enemy has a second part to it, other than just bounce. You also get to cast an instant or sorcery spell from your hand uh, with equal or lesser mana costs to the spell that you returned. Cool. I get I to cast a six or less yeah, in my nothing. hand. Got nothing. Uh, I'm just gonna cast the uh, her hieroglyphic elimination that's in my hand. May I draw a couple? Draw a couple more cards. Uh, uh, that's a fifth Drake. Oh, I, I get to scry on each of these too. I'm dumb. Interesting. That is actually kind of interesting. I think I'm going to make this a, a primary deck of mine. I'm really enjoying how Frodo runs. It is cool. I, I've liked it. You've caught a lot of hate. <laughs> I have. Yeah. But I'm still kicking, so that's... Imagine if I had more than $50. I, I think Shane and I have had the most targeted hate this game. We have, absolutely. I went, I'm, I'm going after Ryan because Ryan obviously now has a million 2-2 two -two dragons with flying that can literally well, kill Shane at any time now. I mean, we all saw that coming. With yeah, that was <laughs> there's Kefnet. no surprise. <laughs> You guys were so scared of Shalai, you just, like, let a god step over the battlefield where you're <laughs> kicking her in the face while she's on the ground. So the, so the god was like, okay, pardon me, let me go rule. Uh, in, in fairness, I find myself at a spot where I let the mana fade away, and Tim continues his turn. Yeah, well, I got nothing now, so... Uh, I forgot that was your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the that is the other bad part of this particular deck, and why it why it earned the name is like usually my turn is like land pass, but I take a turn on everyone else's turn. Well, why do you think I was, <laughs> I was like I can, every time it's my turn, I'm like Ryan, is it okay if I go now? Like, <laughs> God, well, so, only because you keep swinging at me. If you wouldn't swing at me, then I would just stare at you and let you do your turn. And you got a million fucking flyers now. <laughs> Jesus. I'm out of whiskey. Is this? <laughs> It'd be great if you had someone who could just ping yeah. him directly without attacking him. But yeah, I'll put that one on bottom with my yeah, last guy. I'm just, I'm just gonna pass and keep these this two mana open. Untap, upkeep, draw. And hopefully, I'm hoping Shane will be able to kill you. He might. <sighs> What's the best course of action here? Ten. I'm not gonna miss tap this time. That's just not a thing. Uh, let's see. Black, black, black. One, two, three remaining. Okay. All right. I'm gonna do table the favor. You're all welcome. I'm gonna access tunnel. I'm going to make it so Frodo cannot be blocked. Cool. I'm going to move to combat. And uh, Ryan, Frodo is coming at you. Unblockable. Okay. Any response? Nope. Cool. I'm going to pay three black and I'm going to make him a rogue. Okay. First combat from double strike. Sorry, Duelist's Heritage makes him double strike. Sure. Turns this. To four and the second one hits for loose of game. 
<laughs> All right. Yep. Oh, snap. Got All that it. power. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move to uh, second main. I'm going to black gate. I'm going to leave it tapped. And I'm going to pass the turn. Okay. Yeah, I think it was still wrong to hit the river's rebuke. I think. I think. Rob. Uh, Rob can kill you right now, though, Shane. I know, and I'm fully aware <laughs> of this, but I at oh, least snap. took somebody with me. Okay. Shane, Shane I say, I, 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 at least you did take somebody out. Ryan, Ryan was getting scared. I mean, I played half my deck. I think it was. You did well. You did great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now let's see if I can get some spells to stay out for more than the turn. Uh, I just want to go ahead and cast I, the Gyre Sage to put four green mana in. I take offense to that. Like, oh. like I was the one that was keeping your stuff. Like they, they killed all your stuff. I bounced like one dude. <laughs> so I'm gonna play Krinko. Yep. All right, it's just for Tim, though. Really. I just had to do this for Tim. <laughs> he came on my stream and one shot me the other day a while back. <laughs> right, that was not. Uh, that was revenge for what you did to me that one time on my stream, the first time I invited you over. Yep, yep. So the real question is: Is am I getting attacked here? Uh, the real question is: How many cards do you have in your hand? Three. Okay. Uh, I say you try to kill the him. real possibility is maybe. You try to kill him here, Rob. Because well, then no. he can just kill you or me, literally. Your, your creatures can still fly, right? Yes. Yes. Well, let me see if I can do anything about that yeah, first. Yeah, but you have flyers right now. Yeah, but I already hit him twice as revenge for what he did. So if he kills me, then, you know, that's just him winning. Whereas I still owe you revenge for uh, <laughs> second bounce. Ooh, I like the spiciness of this game. This is I. You know what? <laughs> I, Rob, you have a better chance of beating me with all your plus one plus one counters than Frodo just killing you. I'll pay three for Rocco. Rocco is there. I will go to combat, triggering Helena and Elena. They will give Krinko two and haste okay and then i will uh you create three swing. i attack it's, it's at the beginning of combat isn't it oh no it's when he attacks okay yep yeah. so so he got one from the backup of bright palms he got two from helena and lena so he has three yep. he attacks i'll go ahead and attack shane and he'll get another one. So now he's a five, six in the air. And so I'll make six goblins. Okay. He's a five, six, right? Correct. So you make five goblins, right? Or five, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to spin the wheel. I'm going to contraband livestock the Cranko. So you get to roll a dice, a d20, and uh, it'll determine what Cranko turns into. But he is exiled. <laughs> uh, that was after the attack declaration, right? Correct, yes. So I still got the goblins. Yes, yes. It's an eight. It is an eight. Four, so four you off. actually get a four, four. And I'm going to go and block one of your 1-1s one with the old virus beetle. Uh, I don't have any 1-1s one attacking. Oh, sorry. They just come in. Oh, sorry. Never mind. Cool. I'm going to just pretend like that just never happened, and uh, I'm going to save my life total. Well, he's still hitting you with... The... What? No, that was it. That was it? Yep, I'm passing turn. He said, Tim, you got to save us. <laughs> Save people. Oh, Tim's thinking of what he wants to do. Uh, 
The um, Shane, who are you? Who are you gonna hit with Frodo? Both of right, us. Right there, right now. There's only one th real like I'm gonna die to him next turn threat. Yeah, okay, you're not, you're you can not, probably you're look. You're not gonna that. die to me, okay? Because I was like, I I don't have. You may play a non-land card from your hand without paying its mana I'll cost. Play my commander. The same name copy. Oh, that's disgusting, Ryan. That's disgusting. Yeah. Well, it's a like. I had read an article about uh, the. Pay, I'm gonna pay four for Mero Harbringer. I can go comes into play. I can search for a Merfolk card, reveal it, and then shuffle and put it on top of my library. Yeah, I had read an article about the Grixis Mishra, the Ode Mishra. And like it was like a card that people wouldn't play in Commander. I don't even know the name of it. I don't even know either. And then what I'm gonna Boss. do is no. I'm gonna then pay two and play that from the top of my library for my commander. Woo! Master of the Pearl Train. Yep. And then I'm gonna look at the top card because I can. Okay, cool. Um and yeah, I'm gonna pass it to Shane who no. Hopefully. No, I have choices. Yeah, it was yeah. Mr. Artificer I, Prodigy. Shane, you just said who's the threat. That's why I was like... Well, I mean, I totally misplayed, so I deserve to die, because I shouldn't have played Bright Palms, because then I could have held onto my selfless squire and flashed it in when he attacked me. That is also true. See? Go ahead and finish what you were saying about your uh, your your deal. Uh, uh, so I'd read an article about the Mishra Artificer Prodigy card. Um, it's like a command. It's like an old commander in Grixis that says, "When you play an artifact spell, you may search your graveyard hand library for a card with the same name as that spell and put it into play." If you search your library this way, shuffle right. And he's a four four. It was an article about how to use him in a commander or using cards that aren't good in commander. Air quotes. Yeah. <laughs> in commander. Um. So the Mishra thing you do is you play uh, a deck. You obviously got black and blue and red. You got a fair amount of tutors to use. You go get Possibility Storm. When you cast the artifact spell, Possibility Storm puts it back into the deck. And then you get the you get an artifact from Possibility Storm and then Mr. Triggers, you go get the original artifact that you played, and you get it too. That's mean. Uh so I, I like hunted around for some cards that were cool like that and I ended up finding this twinning glass card, which in in normal average commander doesn't work at all. Right, because you can't have you can't play a spell and also still have that spell in your hand to cast. But it. with your commander, it absolutely. But with works. my commander, it works, and that was like this card is what triggered me to build the whole deck. <laughs> I love it. All right, first and foremost, guys, I realized double strike. I should have had two more health. We all in agreement? We okay with this? Okay. All right. So I'm going to pay two. Plus the black gate. I'm moving to, and I'm going to make the person with the highest life total can't block my Frodo. So, Rob, unfortunately, you have the highest life total, so you cannot block Frodo. So, I'm going to go ahead and move into combat. Boom. so good. All right. So, I'm going to gain four. All right. Uh, I see what happened here. He saw the Mount Doom play mats. He knew who to go for. Four, five. That's exactly it. I should have hit him first. <laughs> you know what? I did. I hit both of the. Mount yeah, that's Doom what I was saying. Yep. I'm going to play Witch King, uh, Angmar, and I'm going to pass the turn. All right, Tim. Can you steal victory from the claws of I defeat? I don't think I can, but I'm going to draw, draw. I know what card that is. I'm going to look at the top did card of my library. Did your dude that like makes all your guys unblockable die? No, no, I ha I have that. Um, oh. Hold on. Now you know I only attacked with one creature to make you sweat. <laughs> I can get to you with vengeance, so I just made you sweat by making it easier for him. <sighs> That's why I say when I play commander, I have the Ant Man policy. If I can't win, we both have to lose. I love shout, it. Out, shout out to Power Helm for giving me the better play. <laughs> That got me killed. <laughs> uh, yeah, my play was uh, 
used the thing to bounce the swift foot boots and then i had a spell where i could grab control with frodo and then he'd get bounced right, by the river's so rebuke six i'm gonna river's rebuke shane oh you're gonna river's rebuke yeah. okay and then I'm, gonna, uh, then I'm gonna hit you for everything and it should be enough so uh is it 18 four seven nine uh, eleven fourteen 17, 19. Rivers Rebuke. The saga continued. Because you bounced that back <laughs> to the hand, right? Yep, yep. That's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. You know, and I miss triggers too, because I was supposed to be discarding and drawing cards. Dang, see? Learn to pilot your decks, kids. That's it. That's Good it. play, man. He may have defeated the Mount Dunes, but they Good. had the eventual victory. <laughs> Good game, the Merfolk. You know, yes. finally got to the ocean after Ryan. You know, I was dead. I was dead regardless. The, the water boys inherit the earth. <laughs>